Matt Damon does not look like he belongs in a band. No, and he needs... That's not his voice. No, it's not. And he needs to not That's do not that his bah, voice. thing. Yeah. He was like sticking his yeah, tongue out. I was like, you're clearly right. miming and doing that. It's not helping. So while they're in London, they're going to go to the pub because there's no drinking age, which is absolutely wrong. <laughs> in London. <laughs> yeah, it just happens to be the same age that I assume they are. And then Vinny Jones pops up as the leader of this group and they're all staring at Scotty and Cooper and they're like what are you doing here this is the official club for the supporters of the greatest football team in the world the Manchester United <laughs> but okay this is where I have a problem and I know Andy has a problem with this as well if they're able to use the full name why couldn't they wear the jerseys? <laughs> I don't understand. Uh, because those kits are licensed yeah you can say the word Manchester United surely I mean, it just looks weird when they're all wearing the color red, like they're the fan of the red color. It doesn't look like a football team. It just looks like I'm a fan of red. I don't know, but either way. They get to Paris, and the bus ends up driving on the left-hand side of the road, which is the correct way in the UK, but they do it in the Paris because they're English, and fuck the French, apparently. While Vinny Jones shouts at the cars, saying, and... I quote one of the greatest quotes of this film, get off the road, you garlic bread tossers. This film is stereotypes the fucking film, by the way. (laughs) So there's going to be plenty of fucking stereotypes coming up. I'm surprised he wasn't eating pizza. Yeah. This Italian guy ends up getting in the carriage that all these guys are in, and he sits tightly in between Cooper and Jamie. And when they go under like a tunnel, when they come out of it and it goes all dark and they kind of reappear, he has his hand on Jamie's knee where Jamie kind of, pokes him and goes, oi, and he goes, oh, scusi, scusi, sorry, sorry, scusi. The next tunnel they go under, <laughs> he ends up massaging Jamie on his back, <laughs> going, scusi, I was like, oh, so scusi, and he keeps doing it, and he's like, what the hell? And then... Oh, the face he makes is so good. <laughs> yeah. And then Cooper goes, uh-oh, big tunnel ahead, and <laughs> there's a bit of a scream and a bit of a pandering in darkness and then when we see them again this guy is smoking a cigarette <laughs> with no trousers <laughs> on <laughs> going scusi <laughs> mika has left for the summer is in rome at this moment about to board a boat to go on a trip but she left because she was upset at what happened with scotty and the emails and stuff meanwhile in the background here we go mika's <laughs> stepbrother cooper is the only one that noticed this Gets a pen and makes a Hitler mustache because they're German family, because of course. Makes a Hitler tash from a pen and then walks around doing the Heil Hitler salute. Goose stepping. Yeah. Back and forth for about 30 seconds constantly. The, it's not the post credit scene, is it? But like Why? the scene in the credits, they show them like showing him how to properly salute and walk around. It's just really awkward. Oh, yeah. It's yeah. weird. Again, it's unnecessary. It's just stereotypes all over. Yeah. Yeah. It's cringe. Yeah, it's not funny. Dated comedy. Yeah. Scotty at this point still has his hat on, which is another one of the Pope's hats. The curtains fall on him, therefore creating like a golden this robe. annoyed me so And much. a stick. And he ends up falling <laughs> into the balcony where the Pope normally says hello to people. And everyone thinks that Scotty is the new Pope of Rome. I mean, it made me laugh because it was so fucking stupid. Like, as soon as the curtains so fell down, stupid. I was like, oh yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, I love it. It's so silly though. But anyway, 